Okay, so back in October 2018, somebody hit the $1.5 billion Mega Millions jackpot. And they have not claimed the winning ticket as of today. And they, they may not be claiming it because they're, um, they're just not sure how their life will change and they're just nervous about the whole process of claiming the money. Maybe they, they just don't want anybody to know about it. Even though they live in South Carolina and you don't have to um, tell people you won. Like in other states, they announced the winner. But in South Carolina and some other states, you can do it secretively where nobody knows you won. Of course, family might get a little suspicious when you have a few hundred billion dollars, but it's a different story. Um, or the, or the, the ticket may just be gone. Somebody just threw it away. They never looked at the tickets or they forgot they bought a ticket and it's still sitting somewhere in their car. There was somebody that won the lottery... And the day before the one-year expiration, when they won, they found, finally found a ticket, I think in their uh, shirt, an old shirt, or maybe an old pair of pants. Um, and then um, some people just hold on to it um, until it gets closer to the deadline. So we'll, we will never know until the one-year hits, whether it's actually somebody holding on to it or or they somebody just lost it or never knew they had it and the store that sold them a ticket will get fifty thousand dollars as a kind of a bonus for selling that winning ticket but they don't actually get the money unless the person who won the ticket actually claims it so they don't get anything unless someone claims it. Although the store is getting a lot more business because it's um it's in the news a lot that they sold the winning ticket, so that that helped them out. And if the money doesn't go uh, goes unclaimed, then all the money goes back to the states, and they kind of break up the money in terms of how much money each state sold in lottery tickets. And the states can kind of do what they want with the money, it seems. Um, it mentions in this article, some states are going to use it for educational purposes, which I think is where a lot of the lottery money goes to. Other states are going to use it towards more prizes and a second chance drawings. Um, and, um, and just a variety of other things the states are going to use it for. So it, it's kind of interesting, the second largest jackpot in lottery history goes unclaimed. But I guess if you didn't win it, you really don't care if it goes claimed or not. Um, and if the person does claim it, they could take $880 million up front, which is usually, um, they take the the winning lottery amount and they they discount it back to today's dollars. And then they um, and then they discount it more for something. Um, but if they don't take the annuity payment, they can spread it over thirty years and get the one point five billion. It's spread over thirty years. Of course, they have to pay taxes on on that every year, every year. They would pay taxes. Um, let me know in the comments what you think the reason is they're not claiming the this big jackpot. Do you think they actually have a ticket and they're just holding on to it in a safe, or do you think it's just gone? Thanks for watching.